Now that the school year is back in full swing, I've decided to take a look at some of the best reads from over the summer. I spoke to a few book experts to find out what you should be reading right now. My first stop was DC's Politics and Prose, the intellectual reading center of all things political. I asked employee Amanda Holmstuffy what books are topping the charts right now. The hottest book today is by far and away the Bob Woodward new book, Fear, about Trump in the White House, which we've got a thousand copies um, on order. The phone has been ringing off the hook, as often when there, these political books come out, this is a, a bit more serious, but quite a bit more serious, because Bob Woodward is, of course, a very well-regarded uh, journalist. Next, I came back to Whitman to find out what our resident expert is reading. And I fell in love with this writer. Her name is Yumpa Lahiri, brand new writer, and she won the Pulitzer Prize for her um, short stories. It's called The Interpreter of Maladies. I read this book several years ago, fell in love with this writer. She's fantastic. And now this is on our curriculum. Finally, I came home to offer a recommendation of my own. Jane Harper's debut novel, The Dry, is a thrilling murder mystery set during an intense drought in outback Australia. The fascinating dynamic of reunited childhood friends, along with the powerful imagery of the stifling heat, underscore the tension of the novel as it hurdles towards its gripping conclusion. This book is an absolute page turner and is currently in development to become a major motion picture by actor and producer Reese Witherspoon. 10 out of 10, I would recommend this book. I hope that these recommendations will give you something to add to your reading list at home. Remember, reading is so important, and honestly, it's really fun. Thanks for watching.